Okay. Good morning, Allison. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> I was telling um, Barry that um, my teacher, Chris Leeper, has agreed to join us, and he texted me and said he'd be a couple minutes late, um, but he'll be, uh, I think, really exciting to talk to. So. Okay. Yay. So, and Jeannie also, mom and I take lessons from him on Tuesdays and Jeannie Gordon is in our class um, and we have a lot of fun. So okay. we, when we're missing our classes on Tuesday, I can tell you that. So guys, I already, you know, I started my drawing. I'm going to use the drawing that I posted. I already got started so I can spend a little more time talking to Chris today and a little less time drawing. So I'll just, I'm going to jump right into my painting today. So, Jeannie, how are you? I don't know. She's she doesn't have her video on yet. Maybe she stepped away. Allison, have you been getting a lot of work done? Um, yeah, I am a lot more than usual. Yeah. This helps me get started during the week. Well, that's gets why me off to a good Monday. start. Yeah. yeah. I like it on Mondays because it kind of gets the week off on a, on a good note. Yeah. Painting and gives you something to work on the rest of the week. Yeah, I have a cup. I have an oil I'm working on right now. Oh, and let me get you what I'm going to be starting. Um, this is what I'm going to be painting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Is that you, Key? That's me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Well, that was a pretty ambitious project you just presented. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I have a big 18 by 24 canvas that I want to do it on. I want, I'm into doing big projects, so this is it. This is my project. Yeah. Does that have a special memory for you? Well, um, mom and I go up to the Canfield Fair every year, and Jeannie um, goes also. And we are in a group called the, let's see, the Trumbull Area Artists. And we all do painting demonstrations the week of the fair out behind the Fine Arts Building. Um, and we also enter paintings in the fair show. Uh, it's always a lot of fun just to gather with the other artists and touch base mm -hmm. with everybody. Um, see what they're doing. So yeah, it does have some special memories. Mom, mom loves going. Um, we both have a great time every year. So hopefully we will be having the Canfield Fair this year. They mm -hmm. sent me my entry form, so hopefully it'll go forward. So um, if you guys want to get started with your drawings, does everyone have the reference photo um, for this? Yes. Okay, or something to paint from of their own. <clears throat> Okay. Did you put it in the chat? I think I um, missed it. Oh, I can do that for you. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's go. Hi, Jackie. Hey, how are you? Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. Good morning. I always seem to have difficulty finding my Zoom connection. Hmm. Terrible. Ignorance. That's all it is. <laughs> Let's see. Where am I? There. Okay, here's our chat. Um, there is a link to the photo for today. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And that should get you your photo. Oh, I'm getting an error. Okay, well, let's try this again. <clears throat> Let's try again. Let's try. How about this? I'm still fairly new to Zoom. 
and all it has to offer. So bear with me a little bit. I think we're all new to Zoom. Yeah. I've never done it before, so. It's been a learning curve for everybody for months. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, I'd like, to, I'd like to congratulate all of you who have gone ahead and accepted the technology challenge because challenge. <laughs> I, guess I, I, like like this. I know so many people that they wouldn't, they wouldn't even think about doing this. No. Mm -hmm. Is so, that about teaching the old dog new tricks? <laughs> that's right, you know, and, and you can really sort out the old dogs this way. You know, <laughs> so really, yeah. So. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so you guys get your um, painting started. I think, let's see, where are we here? Okay. Hopefully Chris Leeper will be joining us shortly. Okay, now I should be able to do this. Mm. Photos, pictures. Did you originally send it in an email? I am. Um, you know, I might have, if, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, most everyone gets them through Facebook Messenger. Um, oh, that's why. Email, or I'd send yours out by email because you're the only one I have that only does the email. So yeah, I'm not a Facebook there, person. Right. So there Sorry. is there's the there's the, the picture. Hopefully that'll work. Maybe this old dog needs to learn to be a Facebook person. <laughs> yeah, most, it, they're tough. It's like they, they keep. Um, um, upgrading what they're doing so everything like, okay i got this now next time you log in it's all different again yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, well yeah. that and it sucks up your life you get in there yes, and it's it like two yeah. hours go by i'm like it no so, <laughs> between hey, reading the horrible stories in the new york times i spend <laughs> two hours every morning honestly so thank you sherry i got it you got it okay yep is Jeannie on with us yet? I see she's trying to link in. Let's see what the problem is. Have a new portal. Can't she said she can't get the sound. Oh. Okay. You have to do it those icons at the top. I learned that. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, let's I gotta I don't on my phone. Is that Jeannie? No. Who is that? My kids got portals. Oh, I see. Good morning, Jeannie. We can't hear. It's your sound is weird. There, there's Jeannie. That connection is <laughs> well. Good morning. I was telling these yeah. guys. I've already done my drawing, so I'm going to start with painting today. And Chris is going to be joining us um, a little late, he said. So um, hopefully he will not have problems logging in. Um, I'm watching my phone for anybody's problems. OK, thanks. Mm -hmm. How come that took so long to come up? What's that? Um, I copied that and, oh, then, okay. and, and tried to put it into uh, another Safari page and nothing it's an error and then when i came back it's it's listed here as being available right here but i don't know i have to see if i can get it open ah yeah there it is okay <laughs> i'm going to it. yeah i'm just trying to learn this stuff as long as we're wandering around right <laughs> i get well what zoom told me is if you want to practice zoom just um Go into Zoom and create a meeting of your own with just you, and then you can practice all you want with all the features and stuff. Oh, okay, I still mm -hmm. might be calling you. So. No, there you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning as we go. I um, I posted a link to um, Chris Leeper's website if you guys want to take a look at it or copy that for later. Um, he's just That's really cute. had a fantastic career.
Did you all have a good Mother's Day for you mothers? Yes, yes kind of pretty good. But like everything else. Oh, if you can see, these are the flowers my cat sent me. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. My dog sent me flowers. <laughs> cool. And I had to get a bag of treats to keep by the easel in case Casey comes over here and starts complaining, which he was doing right <laughs> before I turned on the camera. Once you started talking, she left. Yeah, he left. He's he's over looking out the window. I'm not sure at what. There. Another gray, dreary day. I thought it was supposed to be nice, but I guess not. Well, I wonder, Nancy Hawkins usually sends all of our group, um, you know, a meetup place. She went to Poland to paint the bluebells last week, and, right. uh, and I, I didn't go. It was a little chilly that day. And, um, oh, yes. But anyway, I thought she might have a meetup again this week, but um, she must have not because knowing that the weather was just not going to be nice today. I don't know. My daughter called <clears throat> my uh, seven-year-old granddaughter. Uh, they do a lot of Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. So she was going to make potions. My daughter's also working at this time. So <laughs> she leaves them alone. So she was doing, po she goes upstairs and there's hair, hunks of hair on the floor. Uh -oh. And she's going, uh-oh. She follows the trail. And then up in the playroom, they have, um, in her bathroom, she has, creams and and bath bombs and everything else and she's oh. mix, mixing all of those together and they're all different colors and they're all over the chair and she's all over oh. <laughs> my yeah. daughter said i couldn't she said i just lost it i couldn't take anymore oh. not good they're getting uh bored i'd say yeah. <laughs> Uh, I see Chris Leeper is connecting with us. Yay. Okay. There's Tim. Hi, Tim. Hey, how's it going? On board. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. 
Are you doing video today or just audio with us? I, I'm, this is why I'm, I'm back, so backwards here. How am I supposed to do audio or a video? Um, there should be a button on there to click to start video. Are you seeing that? You're on your phone. So I've never done this from phone. I see. Yeah, I see. yeah cause okay. I can't use the computer cause Cass on it. I'm gonna, yeah, I see the button. Okay. I, I know you told me that the other day. There he is. There's Chris. Hi guys. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Studio in Canfield. Mm -hmm. um, and he agreed to join us today. Um, Chris is my art teacher. He's my mom's art teacher and Jeannie Gordon's art teacher. Um, five days a week. You can kind of see the studio there as he's moving around the camera. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, um, I'll show you. I'm in, the, I'm in the studio. So that's what I'm working yeah. on. Now. Oh, there's what he's working on. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chris is... Chris is a member of the Oil Painters of America. Um, he's a past president of the Ohio Watercolor Society uh, and a member of the Ohio Plein Air Society. He, he was re recently featured in an article in, let's see, the, the Artist Road. It's an online magazine. He's been featured in Plein Air Magazine. Um, he has done, he does major art festivals uh, around the country. He's won awards. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Not this year. Nobody <laughs> is. <laughs> but anyway, we are so um, happy to have him. I thought maybe he could share some of his experiences um, and uh, what he's doing right now in the studio. He's also, um, and I can screen share this, he, um, he's been producing, this is what he's gotten into this year. He is producing videos, um, instructional videos that are just fantastic. Oh, there are great. some free ones on YouTube, and then he has some ones that are not expensive at all. Um, to purchase, and I'm guessing those have been a little more highly produced. Um, but anyway, go ahead, Chris. Um, tell us what you've been up to. Well, uh, <laughs> I have, take it away. Uh, take yeah, I've just been sort of uh, stuck in a studio. I usually have morning and afternoon sessions in the studio, so obviously that uh, is shut down. And so um, it kind of it, you know, it kind of harkens back to when I first built the studio and I first started here is I would just work by myself uh, all day and all night. And uh, so I'm, I guess I'm getting a lot of work done. Um, I cleaned, <laughs> I, I went up in the loft and I cleaned out the loft and, and got that all looking better. So once that was done, uh, I sort of concentrated. So I'm doing this larger painting. I, I get sometimes I get requests from galleries for large paintings. And I don't have that many. Now I used to work really large. And um, because of space limitations, I've really cut back on that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've, I've, I've probably lost some pretty good uh, commissions because of not having them. So um, I decided to start trying, you know, now that I have, usually there's always, you know, four or five people here with me. And mm -hmm. um, so they're not here. So I'm working on these big pieces because I have room right now. So, um, and, um, yeah, good. Good for um, you. I noticed in that interview you did for the artist for magazine, you were talking about early in your career, you just worked, you thought you had to work like 60, 70 hours a week in the studio. Um, yeah, I, I was, I was a graphic designer, um, for about 10 years. And then I finally quit my job to do this full time. And, you know, I was so really so panicked and um, that I would not have any money. And so I decided to, um, you know, just do as best I could. And I worked crazy, crazy hours, but I was younger and I had energy. I couldn't do that now. <laughs> I, I couldn't. We're all getting old. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't pull it off now. Um, so, you know, I'll be out here in the afternoon until the afternoon and, and then I'll take a break and, you know, I might get back out here by seven or eight o'clock at night and I'll work for a couple more hours. But yeah, in those early days, for about the first five years of me doing this, um, I just, I just worked. I mean, we didn't have kids yet either. And that, that certainly helped. And uh, so just worked crazy. And, and I think it really sort of established my career. I mean, it helped me you know, get a real good footing on what was, I was doing illustration too at the time. So I was, I was painting for, um, you know, shows and galleries. And then I was also, I illustrated um, five children's books. I wrote my own book for North Light called Realism and Water Media. 
Wow. Um, the human being following my yeah um the the book is great um is that's not available through your website though is it chris i think you have to get no. that through amazon yeah you can find it. it it's out of print now so it's uh you know like those any place like thrift books or amazon probably or or even as people have told me they bought it on ebay um and it's real, you know, very affordable, obviously now. So it's, you know, people get them for three, four dollars. And yeah, I, I think it's a great book. I, 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 I'm very proud of that book. Um, and I, right when it, right as it was coming out, my fir my, uh, my oldest was being born. And so um, it was just a really crazy time. Um, I probably didn't promote it as well as I could because I had a newborn at home with, you know, my wife and I, and we were just overwhelmed. and. But it uh, it sold it sold fairly well for the first couple of years, and then you know just there's just so many art books, and it was water media, so you know it's competing with so many other ones out there. And, you know I have I have ideas. I have ideas. Oh dear. What's that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Are you still with us there, Chris? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Um, I was sharing this. Um, am, I, am I getting feed, is that me getting feedback? I, I I think it is somehow, and I don't know how that's happening. Um. Anyway, can you see the screen here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah this is your new um instruction series. Could you talk a little bit about that? This is a, yeah, a preview, I think, on YouTube, right? Yeah. There's a there's a preview video that that shows it, and um. There's, it's the, the website that, that's hosting these videos is Venmo. Um, no, it's not Venmo. Venmo is the pay mode. Um, Vimeo. 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 Yeah, Vimeo. And so, and there's, uh, there's five on there and there's um, one acrylic and three or four watercolors. Okay. Okay. And um, uh, they're, gonna... yeah, they're, they're, um, they're fairly affordable. I mean, I, I've tried to keep the prices pretty low. This is all a new venture for me as far as like actually charging, you know, these are downloads. And so you can download it and then you can watch it as many times as you want. It's, it's yours. And um, they range in price from like $6 for um, like a 45 minute tutorial up to, I think the most expensive one is $12. And they're, that's a full painting. That's beginning to end. That's a full um, video of the painting. And so, um, so yeah, that's kind of new. I, I haven't, you know, once I, once I did that, uh, my wife is home, she works at YSU. And so she's really taken over the computer, which has all my <laughs> editing software and everything, everything that I do with it. And she really, and when I say she's taken over, I mean, she's, she's working day and night. And so it's, it's like, I'm just sort of biding my time till she's going to, I think she's going back. <laughs> in june uh -huh. so uh -huh. when she goes back to june i'll get back to doing stuff with the videos and promoting them and stuff because i really can't do too much right now but um so that's good i was i was hoping i was shooting for january or next like january of 21 as a goal to have some of those videos up and since i had this time at the beginning here you know i, I really try to to move fast and try to get those up there and um, so it's still kind of a learning process. I have, I have, um, I just counted these yesterday. I have 17 videos on YouTube now. Wow. And, and so I, I was surprised when I counted that many, but, um, and so I don't, the video parts are, I love the editing and, but the whole idea of, you know, promoting and have people download, that's all still new. I still have to work all, through all of that, but least I have a base to work with and I'll figure it out I guess as I go along. <laughs> um, I went ahead and shared the link if you guys want it um, to the YouTube um, preview of his videos and the videos are all available for purchase I believe on your web through your website correct? Yeah through the I website posted. too yeah it's just okay. christopherleeper.com yeah. yeah I posted the link on here. Um, I, I um, downloaded some let's see that's the link some of your recent um, paintings. There's one of them right there. Um, when did you complete that one, Chris? That was, um, I posted it last week, but it was done, finished the week before, but I probably worked on it. It's an 18 by 24, so it's not real oh big, my. but yeah, um, I probably me. worked on it <laughs> for 
over a month <laughs> off and on. I was, I've done some other ones. I've, um, and I just wasn't, I don't know. I just wasn't sure whether it was, if it worked or not. And so I just, I did it. I think I just put it in the stack and, and then I brought it out a few days later and looked at it and I thought, yeah, you know, I'm, I was pretty happy with it. And so I posted it and people seemed to really like it. So, you know, that's the one thing when you guys aren't here, I'm getting no <laughs> feedback, you know, I'm uh -huh. getting nothing. <laughs> uh, well, I, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I, I miss, I miss not having, you know, you've gotten so used. I've been doing the classes in the studio for uh, 10 years now. Wow. And I get so used to having people here, you know, and talking and, and you, that, that camaraderie and that back and forth. And um, that's mm -hmm. been a really hard transition for me to sort of be back in the, in the alone mode. And I, I'm fine with it now, but at first it was really strange, you know, really mm -hmm. a strange sensation. And mm -hmm. um, so that's probably why I just sort of sat on it for a while, I think. I don't know. <laughs> And I, then, need I need confirmation. I need confirmation. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you never ask us what we think of your paintings, really. <laughs> we give you compliments, of course. But <laughs> well, no, you, you guys will. You guys will usually just say, "I don't usually. I'm not fishing." You guys will just say, you know. But we do. Um, I mean, if if there was something you know really amiss, and some classes are more vocal than others, so some people will will be point blank and say, "Do you like that?" <laughs> You know, or something like that. Um, well, that's the and, that's, and, no, and, I'm, and I'm and I'm great with that. I'll be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't like it. You know, maybe there's something there I'm not seeing. So, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and this, this is the one I have. Um, this the screen I'm sharing now. This is one that sold recently. Yeah, that's that was that's it McBride Gallery in Annapolis and that's part of the National Oil and Acrylic Painter Society. Uh they call it their Best of America show. And Ooh. so I was just happy to get in the show and then, you know, with the COVID uh uh happening, they basically, you know, of course shuttered the gallery and so nobody I I shipped the painting and then the day after they uh, uh Maryland announced everything was closed. Oh. And so I had already shipped the painting and, and then the gallery owner sent an email and said, told everybody to send their paintings anyways, because she was going to do a lot of online promotion mm -hmm. and the show will still be hung just like it would. And if, you know, if anybody could see it, nobody could actually see it except her. So, um, mm -hmm. but I think she said they've sold 11 paintings out of that show. Wow. So That's great. Yeah, yeah. She's done a really good job at, at promoting and, and that's a really McBride gallery is really one of the great like realist galleries in the country and um, Peggy McBride is, is the, the owner's name and so mm -hmm. yeah I was I was very pleased I didn't expect anything I figured it would just and she's extending the show into June because just hoping that maybe you know there would be a break in the stay-at-home orders and maybe people could right. see it but um, and she might as well keep it as long as she wants. I mean, really, they keep the show open as long as she wants because um, we really don't have anywhere to go with these things. And so, yeah, I was very pleased. I was, and she used it on the uh, the invitation and everything. She, oh my she really goodness! Liked the, she really oh, liked great. the painting. Wow! I, I've only what met her honor. a couple times, so I was very. I was. This all happened without me knowing it, and I was just like, <laughs> she, she can't. She she called me. To tell me that you know the painting had sold and she said you know that it we used it for all of our advertising and i didn't you know i didn't wow. know any of that stuff so that was that was a nice uh -huh. surprise yes wow. what an honor we need some good news every yes. once in a while these days right mm -hmm. honestly mm -hmm. and this is one i just i happen to really like oh i love that mm -hmm. yeah so when i first when i first um um you know realized my kids were home my wife was home nobody was coming to the studio um i had a couple ideas that have been bouncing around in my head for these big watercolors that i wanted to do and um and so i worked on those you know these are really sort of very long like time consuming watercolors and i usually i have a you know uh, a couple watercolor classes in the studio and I do smaller paintings and, and I had these ideas. And so it gave me time basically to, to work out 
these larger pieces. And um, so, yeah, I was, that's up in Canandaigua. I, I had done a plein air painting from that exact location um, back in uh, 2018, I think, or 2017. Mm -hmm. And I had that, I had some of these photos that I'd taken up there and I had thought about them as a watercolor. And so it was just, I just basically had the time finally to get to sit down and, and work on them. And those were, you know, like 30, 40 hour paintings probably. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, yes, maybe yeah. not, well, you know what, thinking back, probably, probably, probably not 40, probably closer to 30, you know, so over several days of, of working in the studio. And, um, and then I did another one right after that, um, not of the same subject, but something with, uh, you know, very complex and, and things. and sort of got that out of my system, I guess. I don't know, but um, so I've been going back and forth. I, the one painting that, that Sherry showed you, that was oil. The one I'm working on right now is acrylic. And then these, the, then I had the two big watercolors. And I did a couple uh, short videos for YouTube in watercolor since, the, since March. And uh, so I've been going back and forth between all the mediums. And uh, right now, I'm just doing acrylics because this, this larger painting, it's a 40 by 60, is pretty, it's consumed, you know, pretty much all my time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I've been getting, getting out a little bit. Um, I try to get out at least once a week and do some plein air. And, um, I've been going to Mill Creek Park mostly to do that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, my only challenge there is it's just so many people, you know, trying yeah. to find a place where I can set up where I don't have, I'm not sort of, well, we just don't want to, we just don't want to interact right now. You know, it's just not a good mm -hmm. thing. And so, right. um, and sometimes I'll go to a section and I'm really excited. I, I, you know, I, I use, I go to the park a lot. I go to there with, I walk my dog there. I know the park inside and out and there's certain areas that I really love and I'll go there and there'll be people having a picnic there or something. And I'll be like, <laughs> what? You know, like you never saw people in these spots. And, uh, but mm -hmm. you know, everyone's just looking for a place to go right now. So that's, mm -hmm. that's what's I guess going on. Away from people. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I, Last, uh, so the first day of May, I went and I set up along a trail pretty far off, probably about 10, 12 feet off the trail in the woods. And mm -hmm. um, in the video, it's the last, um, I think it's the last video that I posted on YouTube. And I, I compressed it into like about a four and a half minute video. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an oil painting. And um, <laughs> it's really fun because you see all the people running and walking on the trail trail and they're moving really fast it looks like one of those old-fashioned uh sign there's the other watercolor that i did that right after the other oh beautiful Woo! this is the complex one right wow yeah, look that's... at the rocks <laughs> leaves rocks whoa yeah so it um and that mm -hmm. was and you know sometimes i get into these modes where it's really i really enjoy just it's almost meditative to sit and, and work on something like this it's real complex mm -hmm. and you know, you're basically working with small shapes and, um, and then it, that goes away and I, you know, want to do something more painterly or smaller or more, you know, um, loose. And so I go back and forth. I have to be sort of in the right mode for this. And, um, I guess I was, you know, those, these, that time, that was probably in early April or end of March. It just felt, I don't know, just felt like a good time to do those paintings. This is, um, uh, I was at Slippery Rock uh, Creek over by McConnell's Mills. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I had my brother and I hiked that. Um, and I got some great, just some great photos and some great reference. And um, it's it's spectacular over there. And, but what's so, you know, it's such a dangerous place. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the the day after we were there, a, a Slippery Rock uh, University student slipped off a rock and fell 80 feet. Oh, um, wow. And she was okay. I mean, they, they had to rescue her with a helicopter. Oh, and then wow. last oh. week, a, a guy from Meadville drowned there. And oh. Uh. It's, there's, every year, there's just so many. The, the, the stream is just deep and really fast. They do, they do whitewater rafting there. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, he must have been out on the rocks by the water because I, the, the trail doesn't go that near the water. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure how that happened, but um, it is really ruggedly beautiful though. And the rock mm -hmm. formations and then the boulders and the rocks coming off the hills are just, 
spectacular. In fact, that's the title. I, 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 um, I titled it In the Shadow of Geology. Oh, um, yeah. Because right after that, I, you know, I was just curious about what I was seeing. So I looked it up and, you know, there's every rock formation has a name and there's, they, they talked about sort of the, the history of the glaciers and everything that, that formed this little valley of, of Slippery Rock Creek and stuff. And so it's pretty fascinating. And so I just sort of use that as my, this titling is so hard. <laughs> With, with yes mm -hmm. and um so that's um and so that's what i actually i was sitting out here or just standing staring at my painting and my my uh my 16 year old came out and uh, asked what i was doing and i said i'm just trying to think of a title and you know just spending time thinking of a title is that me i, I don't know does somebody have a phone ringing Let's see. Sounds like music. Uh, yeah, somebody's got, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> somebody's, um, it's, I still haven't figured out how to mute different people's um, audio without muting everybody <laughs> at once. Yeah. So how, many, how many people are here on, on today? We have, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, besides, well, eight all together with you and me. Because mm -hmm. I only have four. Uh, how do I how do I see everybody? Um, oh, I see. I just have to scroll. Okay, okay. I just have to yeah, scroll over. You're on your phone. I like I said, I haven't done Zoom on my phone yet, so I can see yeah. everybody on my big computer screen. Um, okay, so, I, I see. So, are there any events that are still on this year for you, Chris, or is everything pretty much out the window? Um, June um, is out the window. Um, wow. July, I was supposed to be in, um, the Wisconsin Dells area and, uh, for a plain air event. And that has been, that has been canceled completely. Uh -huh. Um, but they, it's an invitation only event. So they, mm -hmm. and that's a really hard thing to get an invite. They just do it on their own. I mean, you, you know, and, but they did say that you'll be invited next year. So that's, that's good. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm um, so excited about that one in particular. Yeah, that was, I mean, I was just thrilled that they, they invited me. Um, mm -hmm. I was shocked when she called and asked me and, um, but yeah, so that, you know, I'll, I'll get to do that next year, hopefully. And then I was supposed to be actually this week right now, I, I was supposed to be in Philadelphia uh, for the Wayne, Wayne County uh, plain air, which is one of the larger events in the country. And that got moved to October. And oh. I, then, so they asked if I would do it. And I said, I said, yes. But mm -hmm. then I looked at the calendar and I, I always apply for Texas mm -hmm. and Texas runs right up against this. And so I'm going to apply for Texas. Actually, I'm going to apply today. Mm -hmm. And if I get into Texas, which is always in October, then I won't be able to do the Philadelphia one. There's no way oh. I can do it. The only way I could do it is if I flew directly from Philly to Texas, and that's not happening. So, um, I'll, I, I, and if I don't get in Texas, which I didn't get in last year, um, then I will do the Philadelphia one. And mm -hmm. um, so my my workshop, I suppose in June, I was supposed to be in State College for a workshop. That got moved to uh, October. And then uh, North Carolina for two weeks, the end of May and the beginning of June, we've moved that to the first, the end of August, beginning of September. So hopefully that'll, that'll be open then. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have one up in Menor that's going to be moved into September. So the fall, if, the, if we're back to normal, the falls, I'm not going to be home. I was looking at my calendar. I'll only be home about five days in October, I think. Oh, so, my goodness. Um, wow. But, um, but I don't know. I mean, you know, I still don't, we don't, we really don't know how this is all going to settle out, you know? I mean, no. I mean they're mm -hmm. opening things up, but I was telling my wife, I said, I don't really want to go anywhere. I, I'm so freaked out now that I, yes. you know, it's, scary. Um, yeah. it's, it's, it's really scary. We've had a couple friends that have had it. Oh, and no. One, the one guy, we thought he was going to die. Everyone sort of figured he was going to die. And oh, no. um, I don't know how he's around. He's, he made it. He made it. He's at a rehab hospital now. 
Oh my. Uh, the doctors even said he's a miracle. He's a, because he oh. literally his whole body shut down. Oh. Everything. Wow. He was. It just and he was bleeding to death. It, it, oh. it too. It, it affects like I was just reading. It affects everything in your body. So, so when you hear those like you know firsthand accounts, you just get really, really yeah. scared. My neighbor, yeah. my neighbor yeah, really across the street, in. my neighbor across the street died from it. Oh, Re really, she's sixty. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Not old. And she yeah. had worked. She had worked from home for years on her computer with Anthem, and she'd gone a weekend with some kids to the Wolf Lodge, and she must have picked it up there. And she was a diabetic, and she was overweight, but it was such a shock. It's so sad. Her husband yes. was wow. shocked. 60, yeah. so young, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, the older you get, 60 sounds young. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. It's, all, it's, all rel it's all relative, isn't it? Me. Yeah, isn't it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So wow. Chris, we've been doing um, a lot of still lifes in, in this class. That seems to be a favorite. Um, and, and a lot of times one of the questions I get asked, and somebody asked me this week, um, how do you, um, do you paint, they want to know if do you paint your backgrounds first, do you paint your subject first? Um, you know, how, what is, do you have a particular approach to a still life arrangement? I would, I probably, I would, I approach it pretty much the same way I would do everything. And that is, um, I would cover, basically get everything blocked in at once, all about the same level. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't concentrate on one to the other. So I may start with the background mm -hmm. with a rough block in and then go right to the, to the, uh, you know, objects and do a rough block in there and have mm -hmm. everything across the board covered. And then you know, from that point on, I would work up one area and then probably switch over back to the other area, work that up. And so I try to bring up everything around the same level. And then, you know, as you get over halfway in, you could probably have an area that you finish first. You know, obviously there's going to be some areas that you finish first. Um, mm -hmm. But I usually try to bring everything up. What, early on, I just want to see a, the value pattern. I want to see the local color. I'm not worried about getting the exact color. I just want the value and the color family to be established. So if it's a red apple and it's a dark red apple, then I'll just put in a dark red, not mm -hmm. really concerned with any of the details, just basically get that in. If my background's gonna be a warm or a cool and I'll block that in um, roughly uh, thinly, you know, kind mm -hmm. of thin, or early on with the oils, I use a little bit of liquid and, and, and terpenoid with my colors to keep them thin and basically put a veil of color over everything. And then, then really establish my darkest values and get those established early. And sometimes that's the first thing that, that happens. If, if you have a lot of really high contrast areas in the painting, I'll establish that pattern of, of darks and lights and then put that veil of color over everything and then just go from there and just decide. I mean, sometimes you need a vic I always say you need a victory. You know, you need to finish off that one apple and make yourself feel good that you're, you're doing good. You know, it's yeah. a, you're, you're doing the, you're doing it. And mm -hmm. it just depends, you know, every painting's different. And um, so it, it's pretty much, I don't, I guess I don't separate, you know, the, the subjects from one to the other, as far as like, I don't think I would approach still lifes any different than I would a landscape. You know, I would probably the same kind of approach. Um, and, you know, if I have time, if, if I'm in the studio and I have a lot of time on a painting, then I might be a little less sloppy, I guess. You know, I might be tighter with some of my um, blocking in. I might be a little bit more uh, formal with everything and, and try to make it, if I'm painting outside or if I'm in a, you know, doing a demo, then I'm probably more sloppy and I'm probably making adjustments throughout the painting. I'm moving things, changing colors, values. Um, so because I don't, I have, I don't have time to be that formal about everything. So um, I guess that, that depends too. If I know I have like this big painting, I know I, you know, we're not coming back. We're not going to have studio classes for, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. <laughs> I have time. You know, there's nothing. My wife always says, she says, oh, it's going to be the weekend. What are we going to do? And I just start laughing. I'm like, nothing. What can <laughs> we do, right? We're not yeah, doing no, anything. We can do anything. Yeah. yeah this is what we can go for a ride. We can go for a walk. I mean, I don't know what. Yeah. And she just starts laughing. She's, 
I think by now it's become a joke, but um, yeah. so, you know, it just depends if since if I have time, then I'll, I'll really slow down, you know, and just really, I'll put my glasses on. I'm, I'm, I, I'm supposed to wear glasses, but I don't like them. So I don't wear them <laughs> as much as I should. And uh -huh. then when I, put, and I put them on, then I'm like amazed at what I can see. And, um, <laughs> And then I'll do like something more detailed and I'll be like, oh my gosh, look at all, you know, I'll be, I, you get used to sort of seeing everything out of focus, I guess. I like so, the blur, huh? <laughs> it keeps you, it keeps you loose. You know how everyone's like, you know, I want to paint looser. Well, if you can't mm -hmm. see. <laughs> yeah, that that's it. Do. That's really loose. <laughs> that keeps you, that keeps you pretty loose. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's um, funny. But you guys, I've seen some of the stuff that Sherry's posted. These. Mm -hmm. The paintings are great. I mean, you guys yeah. are doing awesome. Yeah, um, everybody's I, work has really come along. Mm -hmm. If I could get the, I have a computer out here in the studio, an older one. If I can get that set up, I'll, I'll join you guys. I could use, look at my screen then, you know. Please, please. That would, yeah. be, that would be fun because it's the, the, I gotta, I gotta give Sherry props. Yeah. She sets up some awesome still lives. <laughs> I mean, she oh, oh she does. Yeah. Doesn't That's she? Sweet. I mean, uh -huh. I yeah, have had fun with those. Oh my gosh. And they're just, they're already like great compositions for you. They're just so beautifully <laughs> composed and everything. I mean, yeah. so, and that's, that's hard. I mean, that's, I used to teach at Y, I taught at YSU part-time for 22 years. And I, um, I had, I taught drawing classes and painting classes and design classes. And for the drawing classes, it's all, you know, live setups. Mm -hmm. And I used to get into the class early and I would spend, you know, all this time setting up a still life and it, sometimes they were duds, you know, like it, it just wasn't, <laughs> the kids would come in and say, really? And I'm like, I tried, I tried really hard here, but <laughs> Sherry's got a knack for it. That's for sure. So. She does. People, this one People come in was suggested by mom. Oh, um, I had the strawberry go. pie and I liked it. I, I wanted to paint it, this pie picture, but I'm like, it, it's just lacking. There's something, there's something. And she's like, I'm talking to her and I told her about the pie and she's like, well, is it cut up? And I said, it is cut up. There's half a pie left. That would be a lot. <laughs> oh, cut it. <laughs> so then I set it up again and took a second picture of it. Yeah, that, that was mom's thing. So I have to give her a little credit. Yeah. Is mom, is mom here? No, mom does not have internet at her house, so um, she cannot join us. She um, occasionally, I don't know, she picks up somebody's Wi-Fi on the back porch sometimes. Oh. <laughs> she gets on Facebook with her tablet. It, no, so I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to convince yeah, her. Yeah, I get it. Get it. Yes. I get, get a text from once in a while. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Chris. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, yes. guys. Good luck. Thank I hope you. you know, figure something out. Maybe I can join you. I here. miss you, fun. Chris. Yes. Come and join us. We're on. We do this every, you, Monday, every Monday at 10. Love you. Feature. Love your info. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank yeah. you, guys. We'll see you. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye. Chris. Bye. Thank you for setting uh, that up, Sherry. What's that? Oh, yeah. So thank I, you I for really setting that up. Was that joining a, us? A, um, a treat, he's just. Sure. He's awesome. Um. And to get free advice from him is just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we like the classes and we miss them, don't we, Jeannie? You sure do. My painting has really taken off in the last six years since I've been studying with him. It's really made oh, it. Oh, mine too. It's I've had a terrible connection this morning. I don't know if anybody else has, but I've had an awful connection this uh, morning. I usually don't. So yeah, I was trying this new portal thing. My screen is sort of like jumping all around today. Mine too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what it, it is. Just get my laptop. Out. Right. Your phone. So did you guys get the um the um the handouts I sent out to? He you might not have if I didn't if I send a laptop. I could use it. But my kids got me this portal, and I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Mm -hmm. If they're on Facebook, Sherry, I'll just go get them there. Don't worry about me. Okay. I'm to try to get my computer. Yeah, I, just, I posted them as part of the event. There's a couple articles. One is on drawing for realism, um, because Jim Scafidi had asked me a question about, about the backgrounds and, and getting things more realistic. 
Uh, so I posted that for him. And then um, Debbie Stewart, who's not here today, had a question about drawing from imagination and painting from um, <coughs> memories or imagination. And so I, I posted an article about that too. Um, well, me? Because I think we all, even if I'm working from a photo, sometimes part of what I paint is actually from imagination or from a memory or something. Or I move <laughs> things around because it just doesn't look right or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of artists do that. I have a book where the artist was doing landscapes and he saw one beautiful flowering bush down the road from where he was actually painting a scene. So he just put the bush in, in the scene. So I think a lot of us do that kind of stuff um, mm -hmm. for our compositions. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of neat. But uh, Chris, Chris Leeper is just fantastic. And since we've been taking classes with him, I mean, his um, business is, um, notoriety within the art world has just taken off. Um, Where does he live? Well, he lives in Canfield and his wife is actually from East Liverpool. So there's oh, really? A connection, yes. Uh-huh. That's kind and of neat. Her mom and my mom were friends years ago. Hmm. Well, that's neat. Yeah, so there's a, a local connection there. But yeah, his house is in Canfield and then he could, they have a big garage next to the house that was meant for like a, a camper. So it's really mm -hmm. tall. So he took the back part of that garage and converted it into like a lot, a studio with a loft with for storage. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's neat, too. Yeah. yeah. We love it there. I'll see if I can, maybe not next week, but the week after, get some art, other artists who are just having great careers come and talk to us if they will. I think it's always interesting to hear a little bit about the day, a day in the life of, you know, what people who do this, mm -hmm. professionally, um, how they live, what they do, you know, what, what shows are they doing and all of that. I think my cat wants to sleep. I thought he might come in and join us.
Sherry, on yes. that on that plate um, uh -huh. that the pie is on, mm -hmm. the dark part is that the plate that's showing, or where are we at here? Okay, the plate that has the pie. Yeah. This. Okay. This the part here. Wait a minute. I'm looking. I'm. I let me get over you. Okay. Because I pull up the picture and I go back and forth. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so this part here, you mean? Yes. Yeah, is that very, the actual plate showing through? or It's a, it's a dark green pie plate. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I just wanted yeah. to make sure. Yeah, it's a very, very dark green. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can get it out of the refrigerator if you want the pie still in there. Chris never <laughs> ate the rest of it. My Chris. <laughs> It's making me hungry for strawberries. Me too. Oh gosh. It's like, whoa. Yeah, that the um, pie plate in this is, is a really dark, like forest green color, um, almost. That's what I sort of thought, but I just yeah. um, yeah, wanted to make sure. Jeannie, are you working in oils today? Yes. In fact, I just started painting. I've been having connection problems. I don't know oh, yeah. why. Um, because you're in and out. And of course, the new portal thing didn't work very well. So I should get my laptop and bring it out here next time. Is the portal just like um, like a tab like a tablet? 
Yes, it is. Yeah, you can do pretty much everything with it. I don't know. I don't really think I need it. My son-in-law buys all the latest in these gadgets. Yeah. I mean, you can talk to it and all that. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, it kept it kept switching back to my photo screens as this was going on, and then pretty soon the screen just got dark. And uh, so. It doesn't like we'll be having class real soon with Chris. No. no. I'm so bummed. Me too. I, I so miss our classes. We have such a good time. They used to do a plain air, and I'm not a big plain air painter, but mm -hmm. I'd go. I would go. <laughs> Just to hang out with everybody. I, I so miss the connection, you know. I know. Thank you for doing this because this is keeping me going. This is keeping me well, giving me it's keeping a, me going. Plus it makes it, me look up stuff, you know. <laughs> it makes me learn stuff. Kicking me a kicking me in the butt to keep moving. <laughs> I agree. Because it's just so easy not to. Like if you get tied up with doing something else, cleaning yeah. or whatever. It's kind of like going to church. You don't go the one Sunday. It's just so easy just not to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally. I don't know if you're doing that either. So. Is your mom doing any painting? Yes, she is. Um, she's got a couple of nice things in, on her easel right now. Can you believe she still says that lighthouse isn't done yet? <laughs> I think of her every time I see a picture of a oh. lighthouse. I invited two people. I don't think they're here. My cousin does beautiful colored pencils. She could have painting too, but she really excels in the colored pencil thing. Uh -huh. and, um, then I invited Mary Ann. She knows Chris. She lives in Mansfield. She's a great uh -huh. plein air painter. And they, well, she was at Lakeside last year for you guys. Oh, okay. She had a dentist appointment this uh, morning. It's kind of an emergency kind of thing. Oh, so. well, I'm sorry. That's miserable because you can't think of anything else when your tooth hurts. Yes. I have been there. My dentist called and rescheduled. They had to get a whole bunch of masks and stuff. Oh. Uh, so as soon as they get that stuff, they'll call me for my appointment. So... Yeah, they rescheduled my husband's just as well. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sherry, it's Tim here. I texted Hi, you Tim. my work. I got to oh, take okay. off. But you, you should have it in your inbox in your text. Okay, great. Thank you so much for coming. I hope hey, that you enjoyed pleasure. the class and, and Bye, Tim. Uh, the time yeah. with Chris. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that as well. I look forward to seeing that later okay. on Facebook, and we'll see you next week. Okay, bye, Tim. Bye. All right, thank bye, you. Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim. 
Well, I'll show you my strawberries. I got to still work on these stripes. Okay. Oh, very nice. Okay, you're doing the whole pie one. Okay. I'm doing the whole pie. And the, very nice. Well, you've got, I like the highlights on your um, the strawberries. That looks nice. Thank you. Thank you. I, I thought that um, the original pie I wasn't going to do, and Barry, Barry Archer suggested it. She's gone now. I'm like, well, you know, that might be bad because when you look at the top of the pie, you look at the shadows. Maybe try to get yes. some too because the left side of the pie is actually a little bit darker. Look at the right. color closely because there's 50 shades of red. On yes. The oh, gosh. So, yeah, look for some shadows in, in, the, in the strawberries and see where you can yes. go with that because I think just the, the texture of that is fascinating. The, the sparkle on the strawberries, plus you've got some dark. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. It's a little, you know, it's, I looked at it and I'm like, well, that's a little more challenging than I thought. Let's go with it, you know? Yes. So. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to head out too. So you guys take care. Well, well send, send me your work, Jackie. I will. I will. Okay. I, I forgot to send you the last week one. So I'll okay. send them both at the same time. Huh? Okay. Bye. Okay, take Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Jackie. Bye, guys. See ya. Right. How was your class? Here's my strawberries. Hang on. You're looking good, baby. Here's my strawberries. Look at all the dots. It takes me forever to put the dots on. And this is my. We'll just meet her. There we go. Apparently, they didn't know they were still on. <laughs> Jeannie? Yes. I'm, I'm kind of glad we had Chris on today. That kind of energized me for uh, to get the week started, you know? Yeah, I know. He's always so inspiring to talk to. Yeah. I'm glad his events, some of his events have been totally canceled.
do you think here you would think it'd be better connection if I if we had Zoom downloaded because I just been going on your link. Should I, I download Zoom? Um should you download Zoom? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that I download Zoom because I've just been clicking on your link. Oh. Um it should work like that, but yeah, I would um I would go ahead and do that. That might correct your problem. Also, um my sister who's in information technology told me um Sometimes your browser makes a difference. She said Chrome usually works best for these sort of things. So if you're not using a Chrome browser, um, that can affect the quality too. Okay. Okay. So just some suggestions. I have practical today, so I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, you usually don't have those kind of issues. Uh, hey Sherry, it's yeah. Key. I'm yeah. gonna have to go. Okay, I'm but, gonna. Yeah. Oh, very. That's nice. what I got so far. Okay. It's, yeah. So email I'll, me your work so I can share okay. it. Okay. Um, but very thank nice. You. I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope you enjoyed um, our time with Chris too. Yeah. Thank you very much for putting that all together. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I'll see you next week. All right. Bye, Key. Bye. Bye. They're still sitting in the goddamn building with the golf course. It was on e bill for a long time and I kept having trouble getting to the right yeah. account. They had Okay, gang. Well, I think I'm going to um, wrap this up because I've got some stuff going on, too. Um, okay. All right. Um, but, yeah, um, Allison, Jeannie. Thank you. Send, send, me, um, send me what you, when you finish, um, what you've worked on so I can share it with the world. Okay. okay. Will do. All right. <laughs> Have a good week. Bye -bye. Um, All right. Jeannie, yeah. keep me posted on everything and tell Harry hi. I know. You too. Thank you. Okay. Thank Bye, you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.